in order to get ready for our hands-on stretch 2 exercises we will now do a walkthrough of setting up and configuring our development environment this slide shows the development environment that I will be using for the course Java is of course runnable on most modern operating systems and Windows 10 can be swapped out easily for Mac OS, Unix or Linux. The following set of slides will show you where to find the official online guides for installing and setting up your development environment. I will provide separate installation and configuration videos after this tutorial for installing and setting up JDK 8, the Eclipse IDE, Tomcat 8.5 and the MariaDB in Windows 10. However, I do believe that using the official documentation will provide you with a head start and a better understanding of the overall development setup. This slide shows the official Oracle download and installation guides for the Java 8 software development kit. Pick the correct one for your operating system and download and install. I will also make the links available in the resources section. Always remember that Google is your friend in case these links stop working or gets moved after this course has been published and you need to find the official download and installation guides from Oracle. This slide shows the official download and installation URLs for Eclipse. Download the Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java developers, which is the one we will use in our exercises. For the Tomcat 8.5 download and installation, I am going to go off script with regards to the installation guide. I normally select the core binary distro for my operating system, which in this case is Windows 10, and it will be a zip file. I will simply unzip the file in my Windows C drive. When I develop on Windows, I can then run from within a DOS prompt command line shell, because that way I can easily deal with port conflicts, which with a Windows service is a lot harder. And let's face it, with the modern web development, you often have to install other apps besides the database and the servlet containers, which will increase your frustration when it grabs hold of specific ports that you need. This link shows how to set up Tomcat 8.5 inside of Eclipse so that you have access to running and debugging it. We will be running and debugging all our sample exercise applications within Eclipse. So take a deep dive into this outdated document. I will also provide a link in the resources section. We will be using the MariaDB, which is an open source fork of the popular MySQL database, which was bought and is currently owned by Oracle. You have a choice of either downloading the zip file for Windows or the MSI file. I personally prefer downloading the zip file so that I can launch database from the command line. This page link shows you how to connect to the MariaDB from inside Eclipse. It is a good way to start getting acquainted with JDBC database access and using the JDBC JAR drivers. Well, in case you got stuck along the way, the following set of short videos will walk you through the downloading and setting up of the development environment in Windows 10.